Hi folks, my knife here again, and welcome back to uh, Let's Play Terra Farmcraft. As you can see, the roof is done. I still have to figure out what to do with the ends here. Um, I think it looks pretty good, actually. Um, so we'll go over what to do, what the possibilities are, what I'm thinking of doing with the ends here. Um, we'll go over that in a bit, but the first thing you need to do is if I bring up the calendar here, you'll see it's already May 5th and I still haven't got any crops in the ground. So we really, really need to get stuff planted. So as you can see, I've loaded up on all the different seeds and I've got my handy dandy trusty metal hoe with me. So let's start figuring out what to do here. Now, the first thing I want to double check on is because this water because of the freeze, the water only is comes one short of where it used to. I want to make sure that we're still hydrated all the way along here. So let's check. Okay, we're still good. Okay, good. All right, then. So what we need to do is... So let's have a look at the... Has there been enough time for everything to recover? It, oh, wow, oh, this will make things a lot easier. Yeah, there's, he's a little short on red. He is, he is. Those must be the grains, yeah. So they were the last to come out. Cool. All right. Just looking here. Orange. He's a little short on orange. What is he? Oh, rice uses orange. That's right. He doesn't use red. Oh, and he's a lot short. Red pepper uses yellow. Okay. I know I could look these up in the wiki, but I'm a lazy SOB. Uh, that was tomato. Tomato uses red. Yeah. Wheat. Okay. Yeah, these are green, so they use red as well. Alrighty. Okay. So we need to remember that rice uses orange and who was it that used yellow red pepper uses yellow so actually let's put the red pepper in now someplace that has a nice high yellow there we go you'll do okay you were formerly barley whoops oh i need my i need my axe okay and that was red pepper. Do, 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 do. So you are red pepper. Red bell pepper, but it's uh, good enough. Okay, so I think the others are going to be fairly straightforward. Now we know tomato needs red. Um, let's pick something. I don't think potatoes. Potatoes don't use red, right? Potatoes are over here. No, they, well, actually they've recovered completely, so whatever they use, it wasn't much of that. So, let's put the potatoes in next. Okay. Potato. Okay, now we can probably put in all of our... Uh, all of our greens. Just pick places that are high in red, except for rice, of course. Do, 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 do. Three. Barley. Uh, this guy's high in red. We can give him the wheat. Okay, who's next? Corn. Yep, you're high in red, so corn, you get to go in here. Whee! Corn. 
Potato, well, that was already wheat before. This is the oats, might as, well, might as well put them over here. Oat. Okay, so that just leaves some non-red thing to go in where the wheat was. Do, 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 do. Squash. I don't believe squash are red. Actually, we can double check that. Oh, no. Squash will have recovered by now. I believe that squash are fine. I've got, I've got enough crops that even if one of them fails, it's not like I'm going to starve. I know. Just not a dedicated enough farmer. Potato, barley, wheat. So we've done all these guys. Rice, we don't want to put back where it was. So, it's garlic, onion, where's our rice? So we can put rice in here. Oh! No, 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 no. Don't eat it. Oh, I have to turn the rice into seeds still. <laughs> okay. There we go. Come on. Rice. All right, what we got? We got left onions, cabbage, green beans, rye, tomatoes. We know tomatoes use red as well, so let's find something with a lot of red. That'll do. Come on. Tomato! Whoops! Tomato! <laughs> Tomato po! Tomato! Uh, Dan Quayle would be proud of me. <clears throat> okay. Alright, cabbage can go in where the rye was, right? Yes, indeed. Or, sorry, rye can go in where the cabbage was. Okay, there goes our rye. Along with my wry sense of humor. Okay. I wonder if that's really what they mean. A wry sense of humor is one that only is only funny when you're drunk. Carrots. I think carrots are orange. here. Garlic and onion. Okay, let's just take him out of here. And I think we have some full ones over here, right? These guys are all full up. Yeah, so there's no risk in putting anything in these guys. Since they're full on every nutrient, it doesn't matter what nutrient these remaining fellas take. Because I think there's one of either onion or garlic that might take red. So I'll plant them both here. Whoops. Reason I have trouble typing, I mean aside from the usual, is that my microphone sits in front of the uh, keyboard when I'm recording. Alright, there's the garlic done. Oh, what have we got left? Green bean and cabbage. Well, green bean was in here before. That would be boring to have it there again. So, cabbage. Goes in here. And that leaves us with... Oh, did I have no spare uh, rows? Oh. Hmm. Didn't realize that. Had no spare rows? So there must have been something I didn't have planted before? Because I'm out of signs too. Yeah, because these have all been replanted. Hmm. So I need another sign. I saw the sign. Do I have any handy? No, 
we'll have to make one. Oh well, we've got tons of ash planks left over. Tons of ash planks left over from when I was practicing making different types of... Uh, I was practicing these different types of roofing, roofing structures over there. So, and this was green bean. Okay. That gets that out of the way. Have ourselves a little nap time. Oh yeah, that's something else I want to do too. I've got I'm getting tired of opening doors all the time. Um, let's grab some more of these guys here. Oh, I guess I have to actually use blocks. Okay. Oh yeah. All right. Can't put them on the outside because of the mobs, but at least I. At least they'll save me some opening and closing of doors on the inside. Okay. <sighs> All right. So if we look at these ends here, actually, let's start off in this end here. Uh, it's hard to see from there. Let me uh, hop up a bit. Bit here. There. That's a little bit easier to see now. Okay, so what I've done here with the thatch blocks is these are all the places where I can put a full block in, and the remaining gaps between the full blocks and the roof are the like unfilled parts of the blocks occupied by the uh, by the planks in the roof. So I got to figure out a way to fill them in. Now there's two ways I can do it. I can rip up the planking there and drop in a block of wood and then use the chisel to carve uh, the outside of that block of wood to match the roof. So it would fill in here, but you, we would still see the roof peaked normally on the inside. And the other way is to just take more planks and just fill in the remaining spots in here. So those are our two options. And I guess we should look at, no, we better look at it from the ground. Okay. So I tried those out here. This is where I took a block and carved it. And over on this side is where I filled it in with more planks. And the thing, it, it kind of, well, eh. I'm getting lost here. Let me show you from this side. If you look from this side, they both basically look the same. See, that's there. It looks a little odd because I still haven't filled in this part, but it looks fine. And that looks fine. But if you look on the inside here, you'll see that this one matches the shading here. It's a little darkly shaded because it's not directly in light, but this one is bright. It's So this is the uh, carved block, the detailed block. And it's a bit bright and you see the same thing back over here it is a little hard to see but right here you see there's like a dark blot on the roof that's where that carved block is so for some reason it's just not picking up the light the same way as everything else so i think that means that even though it's going to cost me a lot more wood i'm going to go with filling it all in with uh with planks now the other thing is it would be nice as someone else had mentioned as well but i was already thinking it would be nice to have a bit more light in here so i'm thinking like one possibility is i can just put one block of glass in there i don't want to fill it all in with glass because it will look odd i'd like to have the glass surrounded by a wooden border so i can actually i can place replace these three here with glass oh barely that one in for the moment do i have any glass i have four that's not going to be enough but it'll do for now 
Okay, put one there. There. And then either off camera or in sped up, I'll go and do all the plank work here, which is going to take quite a while. Yeah. I should, yeah, I should be able to fill these with solid blocks. Hopefully that'll look okay. We'll see how that works. Because otherwise that's going to be a pain. All right. Um, what's next? Oh, on this side though, I was thinking of doing something a little bit different. So we can put a glass block in here. I'm going to need another glass block there. So why don't I get that started? Sand. There we go. And here I have coal and a fire starter. So let's make ourselves a bit more glass. Can never have too much glass, eh? Okay, so let's get that started. So I was thinking of putting glass in there on the two sides, but in between them, I was thinking of building a spawn protection meter. Now, for spawn protection meter, I don't remember if it uses smooth or raw stone. And, oh, I need glass blocks for that too. Oh crap, I shouldn't have used up all my glass. And I also need a chip thing, okay. Um, I'm just going to put on pause and wait for the glass since that's the next thing we'll need. And actually, while I'm waiting, while I've got it on pause, I might put some wooden blocks in here, some solid wooden blocks, and see how that works out. So, probably see you back in a minute. Okay, that didn't take long at all. I already got a bunch of glass here now. Hmm. Okay, so spawn protection meter... If it's using smooth, it looks... Oh, I need a gem. Only use for gems in the game. Uh, I need a chipped one. I have a lot of chipped garnet. So I'll use... Oh, I have even more of these. Ooh, chipped ruby. We're getting fancy here. Okay. It either goes like this... There we go, spawn protection meter. Now, the protection meter is just that. It's a meter. It doesn't protect you. It itself does not protect you from anything. It just tells you how much protection you have. And I'll explain more of that in a moment. Where's my glass? There we go. Okay, so I've mentioned before that uh, the mod has a thing called spawn protection which means the uh, the longer that you're in an area, uh, the more protection you get against uh, what is it? It's not there's passive mobs I want to call them violent anyways, against the nasty mobs the evil ones and the spawn protection covers the the uh, chunk you're in plus all of the immediate the eight immediately surrounding chunks so a three by three area of chunks and um i th think when if you have a full meter like we have there that that's 16 days hmm. why isn't it letting me put that up oh of course because it's not a solid block i've put in all the solid blocks now I have to get rid of this guy. Yeah, it gives you 16 days of protection against spawning of the uh, of the bad mobs. So if we were to leave this area, um, this meter would slowly decline over the next 16 days and then go to zero, and then it would be possible for the bad mobs to start spawning in here again. So, um, so we have a bunch of other stuff to do. So like I say, I want to get this roof finished. Now we've got the crops in, I can take a bit of time. Um, I'll finish off the roof and then bring you back in for doing a little bit of iron work. Yeah, we're about to move into the Iron Age, guys. Exciting times. Seen a bit.
Okay, so I brought you back in here because I've got a little bit of a problem. It's a shame I hadn't thought about this before I finished the roof. But in order to place the sticks down lengthwise, I have to have a, something to place them against at the end. But I've, all I've got here is open space, and on this side all I've got is open space. And I can't put a block in there because this part of the roof is actually running through that block. So it, well, let me put another block in. So that means my only choice is to do something like this. Just to rip up that. Uh, do I have any more? Not oh, figures. <laughs> I got tons of these here somewhere. There we go. Yeah, do something like this. Uh, I just have to be careful that I get the right level. that that is now level. No, I got one more to go. Okay. Yeah, that makes sense. It should come up halfway. Okay. So I go one, two. And then we come in two for the next one. And then this one... I think this one I didn't ask in. It's actually probably the previous one, but oh well, I'm not going to undo it all now. Yeah. So I have to do something like that. Oh! Ouch. That was silly. And then replace the chunk that I took out. So that's going to be a little more tedious than I thought. Anyway, so I will, uh, I'll probably just bring you back in when I'm done. You're not going to want to watch all that. However, what we can do is at least show you what the result looks like. Oh, I still have to fill in this one too. Anyway, but it's looking pretty good. It, it melds in. These are full blocks here, and then those are the, uh, the blocks, the partial blocks built up out of planks, and they fit together well. And they look right on the inside as well. So that's going to work out. I'll bring you back in when we're all done. See you then. Well, there's what it looks like from the river side. Um, it's a little bit lopsided because of the uh, chimney for the forge. Not a whole lot that I can do about that. Um, but other than that, I think it actually looks pretty good. Get another view from it from over here. And then if we come down here, this is just a temporary bridge I've placed over here so I can get something nicer in. Come up here. And this is it from the uh, from the landward side. And there's the protection meter there showing that we have full spawn protection. I really should put some windows in here too. This is where my uh, equipment racks are, but I can move those. Yeah, so I'll do that as well. From the inside, so th that was one of the reasons I wanted to put the protection mirror there so I can see it from both inside and outside. But yeah, you can see that the... Hmm, looks like there's a one error here. Not sure if I want to fix that or not. Eh. Knowing me, it'll annoy me enough that I'll eventually fix it. So what that probably means is, is that I have a one plank going downward here, whereas they're all supposed to be going, you know, outward depth-wise. So that won't be that hard to fix. 
But other than that, looks pretty good. All the seams fit in, the shading looks right. And then this is this side. Yeah. Yeah, the only way I could get rid of the lopsided look from the uh from this chimney is if I was to make the chimney wood from this part on up, which isn't yeah, I don't want to do that. Besides, chimney's the next thing I wanted to do a little bit something with. So what I was thinking Make it a little bit higher. Is that going to be enough? I think I want one more. Yeah, and then... Hmm, how do I want to do this? Let's put one here. And let's go into slab mode. One, two, three, four. And then from the underside, one, two. And I'm going to need something to stand on up here. From the top side, one, two. Two, three, four. One, two, one, two. Hmm. Maybe getting into overkill territory here. Hmm. Let's see. Just looking to put a little bit of a kind of a decoration on it. Ooh, I may not be able to get the downward angle on that guy. Can I get the underside? Yeah, I can. One, two. I'm going to have to get rid of him for the next one. One, two, one, two. Uh, one, two, three, four. Four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, four. Get on the undersides again. Two. One, two. So, that's kind of the look I'm going for. Hmm. I don't know. Yeah, I'll finish it off, and then if I don't like it, I can always rip it off. So, okay, I'll uh, finish this off and then bring you back in when I'm done, because I'm going to have to fiddle around with some uh, scaffolding here to get things to work out the way I want. See you in a bit. Well, there it is for what it's worth. <clears throat> Didn't really turn out the way I'd hoped. I think it's just that the stack is too big relative to the overall scale of things in Minecraft, right? Because it's three blocks wide, not including the little decorative trim I just put on. So that's three meter, a three meter wide smokestack on a small home. It's a bit much. Eh, yeah, well. What are you going to do? Yeah, well, we'll leave it for a while. And if I think of anything better, or you guys, if you can make a suggestion, something might look better. Maybe it's just leave it alone. <laughs> Maybe it's just leave it as a plain stack. But um, what was the next thing I wanted to do? Oh, I want to put the bridge, some new bridges in. Um, how about we leave that for now? Because there's, we got other fish to fry right now. 
Unfortunately, those fish are going to have to wait for another time because we're out of time. I was really hoping we would get into the Iron Age in this episode, but it'll have to wait until the next one. So thank you for joining me, and I hope I see you back for the next one. <laughs>